Good morning, you guys. I have a, a reading here. I was going to do several, and then I forgot to go get the tripod and bring it out. But good morning. Happy Friday to you folks. It is the month that we call October, the day that we call Friday, the date that we call the 18th, in the year that we call 2024. So happy Friday to you. Um. Yeah, so I was going to do a couple of different uh, questions today, but I forgot to bring out the tripod. So I haven't been on this week. Um, I was sick last week. I got on a couple of times in between naps. Um, and then my son came down sick. A lot of people are coming down sick right now. The change of the season. It went from, you know, summer into fall. And that's when our bodies do this reset. A lot of our bodies do this reset. And people just get sick um, as their bodies purge, you know, whatever it needs to purge while it gets ready for the next season. So, yeah, my at first I had it and then my son got it. Um, so what do moms do? We make soup. We make soup for our kids when they're sick. So that's what I that's what I did. I made a huge pot of um, medicinal soup. For him with with lots and lots of garlic and onion uh, and a bunch of other herbs and spices and you know vegetables and made it good and healing um, so I hope that all of you are feeling good and uh, you know if, if you come down not feeling well somebody said uh, in last week's video when I said I'd, I'd been sick uh, they said they'd been that way all week. So I hope that you're feeling better. Um, yeah, it's just that time of year. It's that time of year. <clears throat> okay, so I was going to do a reading on the pole shift. Uh, someone asked me to check into a pole shift to see if we were actually going to experience that and what that would be like. Wondered if I'd ever done that reading before, and I haven't. And I'll tell you why I don't look into things like that. Because if the world's going to end tomorrow, I don't want to know today. That would ruin today for me. So I never look at stuff like that. Um, and I honestly don't know if the universe would give us a true story around that or not. Because some things we're not meant to know. But I was going to peek into it for you. Uh, but I forgot the tripod. So I got this, this reading done. And I'm just going to film this. And then we can peek at the pole shift. At another time, somebody else had asked me to look into the Brunson case. <clears throat> I looked at that a long time ago, and I did see, um, I, I mean, I'm talking maybe two years ago. So you could probably find that reading if you searched my YouTube, because I did it long before the Rumble channel came out. And you could find the results of that. But um, now I'm trying to remember what what I got in it. And I can't remember. But I know I did a reading on it. And so you could go back and you could look at that um, from like two years ago. But also, I'll check into that. Um, I was going to do all three of these. But I did look at the election because somebody wanted me to see if we were going to actually have an election on November 5th. So I, I tapped into that first. And that's what this reading is all about, you guys. So um, as per the usual, I'm just going to say it again. Say it every time now. Um, do not follow any links or any emails from anyone pretending to be me or anyone else soliciting you folks for anything in the comment sections of my videos. It's all scams. Um, all scams. So I only have these two channels. Okay. So I'm on rumble and I'm on YouTube and then I am on Facebook under sacred products of light. That's where you find me. So, you know, these scammers saying, follow me on um, Telegram, claiming that I'm involved in some sort of Nasara Jasara or QFS or any type of business like that. That's bullshit. It's not me. 
It is not me. It is not me. Anybody on here in the comments saying follow this link or follow this email for more insights, it's not me. None of that crap is me. None of it's me. I'm not soliciting you for anything. So don't, don't, um, don't fall for the scammers. I see there are other people on there answering you folks and saying that, you know, they're, they're on there pretending to be God only knows who asking you to do God only knows what don't do it. It's all scams. So don't, don't, don't follow anybody soliciting you in the comment sections of my channels. Um, I'm not soliciting you. That's not me. And anybody pretending to be me, it's a scam. And anybody in those comments soliciting you, it's a scam. Consider it a scam. Please be vigilant and very aware. And, um, you know, don't fall for all of these. Horrible people looking to take advantage of good, honest, loving people. It just makes me so mad that we even have to say this stuff. But it is what it is, right? And now, next, I want to say, obviously, the healing intentions are always up for you, folks. So if you so choose, if you want that, go ahead, breathe that in. Make your decrees and decree it for your highest and greatest good only and always. So let's get started. So I wanted to know, first and foremost, I wanted to know, as the energy stands today, will we still be voting in the month that we call November on the date that we call the 5th in the year that we call 2024? So I wanted to know if the election, as the energy stands today, will still take place. And what I got was the Queen of Cups. So <clears throat> what that means, guys, is that that is the intention. That is the focused intention. As the energy stands today, yes, there will be an election day, um, November 5th. That is the intent. That is the absolute intent. So I just wanted to clarify, and I clarified and said, okay, so did I read, did I read into that exactly what you wanted me to grab from it? Pretty simple message with that one question. And I got the Magician, which is a higher arcana card, which is a yes. But with the Magician, its secondary message, right, would be it's an illusion. So, you know, the, the election is not what many might consider it to be. So I asked for a story around that, okay? So the story around that, you guys, is that there's a lot of chaos around our elections and there's a lot of disappointment because the truth of the matter is people are still highly disappointed from what happened in the background before. OK, so there is a lot of chaos around our elections. So that type of cycle that we that we went through in the past past elections, has actually come to end, you guys. There had to be a complete surrendering to that way of doing things here on the earth plane for all of us. And that's being done by a higher guidance, which could be our military. Um, that would be the military, the alliance. Um, that's what that card is to me, that higher arcana. So this is really big picture. It's a big deal what's happening here. OK, so the focus is that there will be, as of today, the focus is a very strong focus. See how it's very intentional. The focus is for us to to have this election. Um, there are illusions behind it. There are because there's still chaos and upset feelings from what happened behind us in the past. This type of cycling, this type, this way of doing things on the earth plane had to come to a completion. There had to be a surrendering too, okay? And this, don't forget, this is also technology. So there had to be something that was changed and ended with the technology used. And this was all done by military forces, alliances, white hats, whatever you want to call them. So... <clears throat> 
So I said, when after I read this, okay, so there's definitely, as far as we can see as, as of today, going to be an election. That's the intention. There's a lot around that that is illusion, and that's because um, of what happened in the past and how things have just needed to be changed. And so that was brought to us by the White Hats. And so I said, with that information given to me, is this all being done, the intention of this and the illusion around it, so that all of the um, information that we gather in this year's election can be brought forward and shown. And I got the sun card, so yes. So this is uh, an operation, you guys. This is an operation to bring out more evidence uh, for people to see how things have been done in the past. Like a sting. It's like a sting, okay? So once I read all of that, and I said it's a military operation, it's a sting to be able to bring forth all of this information to people, is that correct? I got the high priestess. That is correct. So this election is very important because it's going to bring forward a lot of information. So then I said... Um, can you give me a story around how this is all coming to pass, right? So this is my story over here, okay, you guys? So the story over here is the way that things were being done had to come to end, right? So they had to end um, so that we could move forward and be victorious. The problem is, is that we were moving forward to be victorious in a way that nobody knew about, okay? So everybody is focused on what the regular is while things are coming in and being done that we're not noticing. And so then we come on. I mean, just think about that. So I said, all right, so this would seem to me this is all part of the continuity of government, right? So my brain's thinking of the next question to ask. And so I said, I believe that we are in a continuity of government. And the proof is there, you guys. Uh, you just have to dig for it. So the proof that this has happened is there in every way, shape, and form it can be found. Um, I believe, I mean, if you follow Derek Johnson... He really lays it out there for you in laws and orders. But if you also listen to Trump and the things that he says, he's been giving you knowledge of that for like for almost four years now. Um, so it's not something that I'm feeling intuitively anymore. It is really honestly the proof is out there. So then I wanted to know, as we move around these election cycles and, and what would appear to be the election, even though things this way had to end, you know, things had to change with this continuity of government, that would be our military coming in and changing things, right? I wanted a little story around that, you guys. So the reason why things had to be done this way the continuation of this, they had to be done this way so that we didn't notice. If you remember when Donald Trump said, never again is he going to tell, you know, never again are we going to give away our, our, um, our war plans and our defense plan and, you know, how the other presidents of the past would come on and say, so X, Y, and Z is happening in, in A, B, and C, and our plan is to do um, this, that, and the other on this date. And they announce that to the whole world, and then the people that we're supposed to be surprising with our moves have had optimal notice of what's going on. And Donald Trump said, we're not going to do that anymore. We're not telling our secrets. We're not telling 
our plan of action. Basically, this is what's happened here. Things had to end moving forward in order for us to be victorious. They went ahead and they ended something, but they didn't tell the people. The people, nobody knows exactly, right? The information's there with hints, and it's able to be found what's happening. But the reason they're doing it this way is, one of the reasons is because the community's people, all of us, needed to start talking. We needed to start seeing how screwed up and imbalanced things were. You know, the stormy waters that we're actually juggling around. We had to start seeing all of the dark, nefarious things. And we actually had to come together um, as people so that we would be happy with the plan. Right? So that we would be okay. We would come together as people wanting change. And I asked if I got this correct, that the way things were done were ended so that moving forward, we can be victorious, but the people, you know, weren't meant to see it because things had to start in this, in the community at the community levels where people started noticing and talking about the imbalances and the stormy waters that we're in and all of these dark, nefarious things and come together in agreement that we want something better. So I asked if this was correct, if I, if I um, had read this to you folks correctly. And what I got was the uh, wish fulfillment card. So yes, I read it to you correctly. It had to be our wish. It's got to feel as though it's our wish for change. Otherwise, people would have thought... Um, that this continuity of government and everything that we've been going through over the over since since um, twenty twenty, they would have felt as though we were in a coup, and nobody would have been comfortable with that. So we have to be comfortable with what's happening in our nation and the world. It's time for we people to be comfortable. So. It can be irritating to all of us who think we know whatever we think we know and who have been awake for a long time for things to play out this way. But honestly, the only reason why it feels irritating is because we focus on it. Because if we only focus on what it is that that we do know and what we're getting intuitively, all the rest is just like... Um, all the rest of, of the... Um, narrative is just, it's not meant for us as we get told all the time. It's not meant for us. So, you know, really for us to be happy, we just don't focus on that. We manifest what it is that we're, we're choosing in this world. Um, and we know we've got this and we actively engage because they need us to. You know, they need us to actively engage. It's important. We're part of this. So we still need to actively engage, you guys. So then I said, all right, so this election's going to go forward um, as the energy stands today. And this is going to really help the communities to see even more, it looks to me, all of the things that some of us think we know already, but I'm sure there's stuff none of us know. Uh, the one thing that I'm sure of is that everything that we think we're sure of, um, expect the unexpected, <laughs> seems to be the way life goes, right? So this is to, like, I wanted to know, so this is a sting operation. This is going to bring forth a lot of truth. You know, this is going to help anybody in the community that had doubts to begin with this election process and whatever they've got planned for it, it's going to really help um, the communities to actually really see. So anybody that still hasn't yet or is on the verge of seeing will definitely see after we go through this election process. Is that correct? And I got the King of Cups. So... 
that would be correct. So this whole process is going to bring stuff out in the open now, stuff that happens in this election, right? So it's going to be shown. And then all of this stuff will spill out from his cloak from this election. So we'll see a lot of things that were hidden and stolen, things that were done blatantly, things that were done in the dark for this election. But then with him, there's all this other hidden stuff under the surface. So it will also take us back to being able to see all of the stuff from the past that will also rise up from this election cycle that we go through this time. So that's what I'm getting, you guys. Take from it what you will. Um, take what resonates. Toss the rest. But I am getting very much that, yes, as the energy stands today, the focus is for there to be an election on November 5th. That's still the main focus. And it is, it is basically a sting operation, you guys. And in doing this sting operation, it's going to shed a lot of light on all of the things that have that are going on, the imbalances, the nefarious stuff. It's going to shed a lot of light on that now, but it's also going to bring up stuff from the past. And um, it really, this, this is all being done this way so that we, the people, feel as though we're the ones that have figured out all of this nefarious crap. It's called waking us up, right? Allowing us to follow the breadcrumbs and see the dirt so that we all wake up. This has to be done this way because, you know, they want us people to feel happy about it. They want us to feel as though we figured it out. They want us to be in alignment with what needs to take place within our governments. Um, they want us to be happy about this. This needs to be a wish fulfillment for all of us. We need to come together and be in agreement on this. So with all of that being said, you guys, I asked for a card. What can we focus on? Uh, what do you want us to, to focus on? as the energy stands right now. And so the card that I got you guys is the six of swords. So let, there's a lot in this card, right? The short meaning of this is yes, we're in trouble. It feels very troubling. It, it might feel very disheartening. You might feel all of the bumps in the water right now. Right. Um, but all of what we're going through right now is to move us into smoother sailing and it really is all being done under the vibration of love. And there are people behind us that we don't see that are really doing the hard work to help get us there. So, you know, let's try to get out of our heads and get into our hearts and uh, know that we're, we're going to see better days. All right, you guys. So um, that's what I got as far as the election cycle goes. Yeah, it's going to happen as far as the energy stands today. That is the focus. It's being very, very, um, very, very focused on that, that, that we go vote on the 5th. So anyway, I'm wishing you guys all a lot of blessings and much, much love um, and health, <laughs> health. As we change seasons, uh, lots of health and healing and uh, love and high vibes and abundance and blessings and um, joy and courage and strength and perseverance because uh, we're going to feel those bumpy waters, okay? But know that we're being moved into smoother ones, you guys. So keep your vibes high, keep manifesting and, uh, you know... Make the make the most of every day that you have. Try to be present in your in your day, you guys, because when we're present, when we're full on present and we're not thinking of the past and we're not reaching for the future, that's when we do our best manifesting. So if you're happy in today and you're choosing to feel this world is what you have chose it to be and you move through your life like that, that's when we do our best manifesting. Um, 
so yeah, uh, chins up, vibes high, know that I'm sending you all tons and tons of love, and I will see you soonish. And yes, I'm going to go out to vote, um, and I'm doing it on the day of the election. Now, somebody said to me, Lori, your vote doesn't count, blah, 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 blah. I know this. Believe me. I have known this for a very, very long time. You're not telling me anything I don't know. I understand that. But I'm going to tell you why I vote anyway. There's a few reasons. Um... I grew up in a household where my parents always said, if you don't vote, you can't bitch. And I feel that way. If you don't get your ass up off the couch and get down there and go vote, don't bitch. Because you forfeited your right to have an opinion at that point. And, and so that's, I, I agree with them totally. So I've always voted because of that. Even though I feel the system is screwed up. And even though since 2000... I have stood strong since the year 2000. So for 24 years, I have stood strong in the fact that these elections are stolen. Um, I've voted anyway. And it's because if I don't, then I'm making it even easier for them. If we all just gave up our right to vote, none of us went because we feel that the systems are corrupted and our votes don't matter anyway. They don't even have to pretend. They just do whatever the hell they want because we've sat back and we've allowed them to not even be held a little bit their feet to the fire. And, you know, in days like this, if we don't get out and we don't do that, how are they going to prove the theft? How are they going to prove the corruption? How are they going to prove anything if we don't get out and make our voices heard? So that's why I vote, you guys. These are all really good reasons for me to get my ass off the couch and go vote whether I see the system is rigged or not. My mom always said, especially as a woman, Lori, get your ass out to vote. We weren't always allowed to do that. So yeah, I have, I have that really ingrained in me and I agree with them. And I really believe like if we didn't, um, get out there if I don't get out there and put my vote in, how am I going to prove that they stole my vote? <laughs> if there's no, if there's nothing there, you, you can't prove anything if there's nothing there to prove. And, um, I think this disheartening feeling of what's the point is exactly what the deep state wants us to feel. What's the point? Cause that's going to make it that much easier for them to cheat and steal and just, you know, eventually if everybody just says, you know, what's the point? I'm not going to vote. They don't have to do anything. Um, they can just, well, they can just do anything that they want because none of us stood up to say different. So that's how I look at it. Um, and that's why I get out and I vote and, and I've been doing it even though I've felt the system is completely rigged since 2000 when I watched Bush steal that election and then when I watched the corruption with the hanging chads. And then Bush said, wait a minute, wait a minute, go got Florida. No, Florida is mine. My brother's the governor there. And then five minutes later or whatever, they come back on the news and go, oh, oh, we made a mistake. You know, Bush takes Florida. It was just bullshit. It was I'd always felt it was corrupt before that, and that was plain in my face, evident and obvious um, stealing. And, of course, that was a long time ago. That was before many people would listen to me about that at all. Uh, I just got a lot of eye rolls. E even in 2020, I got a lot of eye rolls, right? Now, I think more and more people are much more open to, they've seen enough uh, just like this card read shows, the people had to see the rough waters, the imbalances, and the nefarious bullshit. Uh, the people had to see it and start coming together on that. And that's that's what's happened. So, and anybody that hasn't figured it out by now probably never will, and who cares? That's on them, right? That's their journey. Let them have their journey. It's fine. 
it's that's part of their learning process here, right? So anyway, that's what I've got to say. That's why I get out and vote. And that's why I'll always get out and vote, even though I, I too believe the system's rigged. But how, if, if what I'm getting here is correct, how are they going to prove anything if we don't get out and vote? And it looks like it's a sting operation, you guys. So definitely going to make my voice heard. All right, you guys, I love you all so much. Um, I think you guys are amazing. The The amount of love and prayers and high vibrations and healing um, that all of you have been sending the victims of the hurricanes and the amount of uh, people that got on and said, oh, yeah, we're working to tame down this storm and consistently working on it. You guys... You move me, <laughs> you move me and you all show me, um, that there are so many good people in this world, regardless of all the stuff that we hear about, regardless of all the crap, man, the people of this world, we ordinary people of this world, we really do, um, we really are loving beings and you guys show me that every day so thank you thank you thank you have a blessed day guys happy friday i love you all until next time take care